Hello, and welcome back to another episode of HKEX Voice, our podcast series to share with you the insights of our executives and industry leaders about Hong Kong's financial markets. I'm your host, Jeffrey Young. HKEX has just launched its first A-Share derivatives product based on MSCI China A50 Connect Index, which tracks the performance of 50 key Shanghai and Shenzhen stocks available via Stock Connect. Today, we are very pleased to have Dr. Zheng Wei, MSCI's Managing Director of APEC Index Solutions Research, to talk to us about the uniqueness of the index and how it can help Stock Connect investors manage their A-share investment exposure. Welcome to our podcast, Dr. Wei. Thank you for having me here in Hong Kong Exchange. Thank you so much. So let me begin with my first question, Dr. Wei. MSCI um, announced the launch of the China A50 Connect Index a few weeks ago. So what does A50 Connect mean? Um, the full index name, which is MSCI A50 Connect Index, as its name suggests, it literally means the index select 50 of the largest and most representative China Asians that is accessible through the Stock Connect program. Why did you launch this new index? I think since 2018, when MSCI initially included China Asians in our emerging market index, and in 2019, we upped the inclusion ratio to 20%. There is an increased usage of China Asia's uh, in terms of building its ecosystem around the Stock Connect program. Currently, investors are really lacking a very effective hedging and risk management tool um, that is now preventing market access and even hinders the, the future inclusion of China Asia's. Uh, against this backdrop, we introduced this um, A50 Connect Index to serve as an underlier for this future contract and other listed and OTC contract that can expand the current ecosystem around China-Asia exposure and Stock Connect. Well, that's really interesting. Dr. Wei, uh, what are the key differences between the MSCI China A50 Connect Index and other A-share indexes or A50 indexes that are out there, such as the MSCI China A Index? Well, first of all, if you think about the key concept of this A50 Connect Index, it has actually built out of the MSCI China A index, right? Yeah. So the security underlines are all constituents of the broader MSCI China A index, which is uh, you know, a market capitalization index with large and mid-capitalization stocks, uh, currently raise around 470 plus stocks. And uh, despite this A50 uh, Connect index only have 50 names, it is actually also represents this broader MSCI China A index in terms of sector representation because it selects at least two securities from each of the gig sectors. And secondly, it reflects the sector balance of this China A broader index. So as a result, uh, this is really, you can define this A50 Connect as the core of MSCI China A, right? Um, and separately, if you compare this MSA China A Connect Index versus other existing A50 indexes out there in the market, I think the key differences is really its sector diversification, a better balance, basically, between investability and full representation of investable opportunity set of China Asians. And, and I think this index is the first index that is really designed to access both through Connect and reflect the Stock Connect. And that is you know, really reflecting uh, its name um, as 50 Connect. Dr. Wei, you talked about the sector balance here, and um, the, there are some noise out there that certain A-share indexes may have some over-representation of sectors. But can you tell us why it is so important to adopt a sector balanced approach for an index? Yeah, this is a very important question. Let me share with you uh, some of the investor feedbacks on the current Asia ecosystem, especially around some of the existing A50 type of indexes. I think um, if you think more broadly, um, you know, what the legacy or traditional way of uh, defining A50 type of indexes is really only look at uh, the investability criterions and with a major focus on free flow market capitalization. Basically, it's only select the largest, right? And uh, this works well maybe in the developed market where the existing market composition is relatively stable. Um, but uh, it's, it's certainly um, it's, it's, it's not working so well in a you know, rapidly changing market and economy like China. Because uh, if you 
if you see like markets landscape of China is changing so rapidly, mm -hmm. and uh, you know there are the emerging companies and sectors that is moving from micro caps to small caps and the mid caps and large caps ultimately make into the mega caps, right? And the existing mega cap uh, approach cannot capture this type of trends. And besides, in terms of the sector representation, the existing A50 type of indexes is really lacking uh, representation in some of the key sectors. That is an important component of broader Chinese economy. These sectors basically include, for example, the communication service sector, the energy sector, and the utility sectors, right, for various reasons, right? Mm. Um, and is predominantly overweight on financial sectors, which is, you know, arguably a, you know, important part of the Chinese economy, but people can gain access through a sector-focused index rather than, you know, broad-based A50 type of indexes. So I would say, if I were to summarize, um, you know, what we are designing these indexes for, is really designing for forward-looking A50 type of indexes by capturing the full Chinese economy, not a back-looking one just looking at the existing winners. Well, that, that's fascinating. Um, how will the MSCI China A50 Connect Index, the futures product, you think, help investors taking part in Stock Connect manage their A-share ex investment exposure? I think specifically by this innovative design, basically broader representation and sector balance weight allocations, we think this index can basically serve a wider range of investment use cases that supports the further expansion of Connect-based uh, Asia's uh, um, financial ecosystem. Um, in terms of use cases, we see three major broader um, use cases for this index. The first use case uh, is really, it ha can help international investors implement their core dedicated China A allocations. And this is a particular trend over the past two to three years as MSA up its inclusion ratio to 20%, there is an increasing demand for international investors to allocate to China A as a dedicated allocation. However, as I mentioned earlier on, the current indexes cannot really fulfill this purpose because it's really biased and tilted towards some of the older economy. And secondly, the current type of indexes uh, is really risk concentrated, right, uh, to a number of top names or top sectors. So this A50 indexes, when we launch uh, this new Connect A50, uh, and examine its fund fundamental metrics, we find this index constituents also enjoys, um, you know, average higher fundamental characteristics, such as, you know, better profitability ratios and higher governance scores uh, by, you know, MSI ESG research. So investors, when they look at those metrics, they find it's, it's probably a better underlier for their strategic allocation. Now, the second use case in this context of a future launch uh, we think because of this index, historical lower tracking error and higher correlations with broader market benchmarks such as MSA China A and, um, you know, the, for example, the CSI 300 indexes, it really can serve as the underlier to build, a, you know, a market tracking futures and risk management products such as the futures and other OTC derivatives um, and structured products. The third use case is really because this index is heavily tilted towards the larger of the large caps, right, which would mean the mega caps, it can help investors balance their current size exposures in their China A portfolios. I think the context is that as more investors build strategies around China A, some of the strategies, like uh, you know, active strategies, quantitative strategies, they normally have a smaller to medium size bias meaning you know, they tend to select the smaller stocks versus the broader China A universe. Now, it hasn't been the issue prior to 2017 when the smaller ones usually outperform the larger ones, right? Um, I think the, the market condition changed a bit um, when MSA announced to include uh, the China A shares initially focused on the larger caps. Um, and in recent years, these size factors becomes um, mm. you know, less a performance factor. It's really become the risk um, factor. Uh, and some investors indeed want to neutralize or refine its size exposure. Now this index definitely can fulfill that purposes. I see. That's 
very, very insightful. I'm afraid that's all the time we have, Dr. Wei. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure to learn more about the MSCI China A50 Connect Index and the importance of adopting a sector balanced approach. Thank you, Dr. Wei. Thank you. For all our new listeners, if you want to learn more about this podcast or HKEX's offshore China derivative suite, please visit our website at www.hkex.com.hk. From all of us at HKEX Voice, thank you for listening and keep an ear out for our next episode. So long.